Okay, so we are back on the slurry again. A um, couple of differences today. Uh, one, as you'll notice, the tractor is not one of the 30 series. Um, the boss man has relinquished his seat of the 6190R. So, yeah, that's what we're on. Um, the reason he's done that is because we, this tractor being on the big tyres and everything means it's more capable of coping with two and a half thousand gallon Connor slurry tanker. So we're just getting down to the farm now to try and figure out what's what, where we're going and all that. Oh, and that looks like our other man just coming in as well up, the, up off the main road. Right, so we're just setting on with the first load. Gonna be a bit of a steady way job, we wanna sort of plaster it on a bit, make, make use of the nutrients, so I'm quite liking having that uh, the sight glass on the tanker. So uh, good job that gives you an idea of where you're up to when you're filling up and it also gives you an idea of where you're up to when you're on the filling. So yeah, this this is the script and this is going to be my day or day. I think we've got 16 loads to get out on here. And what's named only over there? And then we've got um, another, I think it's about 10, 12 acre fields to do up the road as well. So yeah, crack on I suppose. Right, so um, hmm, weather conditions aren't exactly great. Ground conditions aren't exactly great. You see, quite happy spreading away there in the background. It's quite nice having that little camera there. But yeah, it does. You can see there. Doesn't doesn't want to get too much wetter. And it's trying to. So I don't know. Um, really we need a good day at this to make a good hole in it. Um, and I I really do question whether we're going to do it. Problem seems to be with me, the um, fields just about travelable but um, headlands and I'm, why I'm quite worried about wrecking the top headland trying to keep coming in and out so all we can do is what we can do which hopefully will be enough right um, things have gone a bit wrong um, You can see we're doing what 2.6 mile an hour heading to the field because there is a problem with the well I'm assuming it's a gear linkage. Which yeah um unfortunately I don't know what the boss man is tied up on. Uh, the other two members of the crew are trying to sort out another slurry job that's a little bit more involved than just turn up and remove it. 
So, well, I'm certainly going empty in this load quietly. And then just, just gonna have to see what happens. Um, yeah, a bit of a, bit of a bum considering we had a lot to do today. And this is what load number, right on back of my hand, load number four. I think we've got another 12 loads, one going out on here, plus um, there's another field further up the road, um, which to be fair, that probably both tankers jump on, on that. So we've got, I'm going down on this field. The other tank is going down down the road to another field. So yeah, um, I don't know. I really don't know what to say. Um, I don't know what tractor they're using, so I don't. I don't even know if there is a spare tractor to be used. It's, yeah, prob probably isn't because it's only yeah, it's only the two six nines that are available, and they're probably both tied up on a pump. So yeah, just gonna have to see what happens. Oh. Right, you can see, I've got a tractor back, I've got one of the 6 9 30s. Um, fortunately this is the one on the narrow tyres and not quite so much. Good tyres, but it is what it is. I also found out that there's some welding needs doing on the hitch of this one. It's not uh, the hitch is safe when it's locked up. It's on the on one of the lift rods. It's trying to well, it's pretty much has snapped off. We managed to get the tank on the tractor fully loaded, which was a bit nail biting. I can't even get out of the pig and rot. So, yeah, we are, are at least back on it now. It's just, yeah, it's uh, going to be a steady job today. It's going to be a long day today. Which, considering I'm actually supposed to be off trying to do some work on the house. Hey ho, hey. Enjoys the self-employment. No such thing as a holiday. Right, you can see we're getting close to the, the fence now. We're nearly done on this load. This load, this field. Um, nice covering, nice even covering over it. So, uh, next plan is uh, down the road. Um, Oh, I just spoke to the other lad not that long ago, but I never asked him where he's up to and how he's getting on. So... Right. I'm going to give this a bit more quite a bit. Turn our VTO off. Turn the line, turn the spool off. I'm going to just start this a little late just because we've got the pond there and it's damp. What do you reckon? Well, there somewhere, I think. Need to go back on. Back down again. Now she can spread to the edge without going into the next field. Yeah, I reckon about another one or two loads will be will be done in here. 
beer. Yeah, we're nearly done this field, we're ready to start again. <sighs> right, so we're back on the road again. Uh, we're just taking now second load up to second field. You can see 190Rs there parked up. Would have been nice to have uh, 50k in the big tyres doing this job, but it is what it is. Um, luckily, the boss man found out he'd actually gone to the local John Dave dealer for something. Anyway, so he's been able to talk to them, and apparently it's quite a common fault on the, I think it's just on the RC, there's a little clip that holds the cable to the floor, which the clip has a habit of going walkabouts, basically. So they're hoping that's all that is. Um, Unfortunately, as you've seen in that cab, we've got a big tool storage, which all that's got to come out, including all the tools and everything, to get the side off the side console to be able to get at it. But it's not as bad. Well, it's hopefully not as bad as it could be. not far away from uh, what was my mum and dad's farm, it is literally 10 minutes walk up the road. It's quite weird being back out this way. So this is field number two. Um, so this is my second load on it. The other ladder uh, hopefully shouldn't be too far behind. And I'm about grabbing another tanker and get me mates up here as well because they've just about finished sorting out what they needed to sort out so it's actually a fair it's not a ridiculously steep climb but it's steep enough for how tender the ground is um, yeah, it seems to be soaking in a bit, and um, yeah, you just have to be careful not to go 
uphill where you well probably downhill as well where you've already where it's already had slurry. views over here as well. Uh, Tom's just spreading the last little bit. Um, I've just got to pick the tank, pick the pipe back up. Perhaps should have sort of done this the last little bit and job done, but we can't get it right every time. So yeah, that's it. Uh, we thought it was going to be a tall order to try and achieve it all in the day. We've had couple of hiccups as well 6190R with the uh, that gear linkage issue which is one of them things it could have gone anywhere just decided to go here today uh, Tom's also had a trouble with his class um, his front there uh, is one of his four wheel drive drive shaft decided to work itself a bit loose again one of them things it happens no dramas, no point making a drama of it, you just deal with it and crack on. So what are we? 10 to 7, so we're actually not bad on a finish. It'll probably be it'll probably still be about three quarters of an hour of messing around to do before we unpacked up on my way home, but yeah, that's it. Two track well, three tractors, two tankers, various headaches.